I'm sorry it's been such a long time since my last video, um, but I wanted to do a new one today, um, kind of in my cool tools category. And instead of a guitar review, I'm just going to talk about a guitar pick. And uh, it may be small, but a guitar pick can be a huge part of your sound and part of your tone, uh, part of your style. And um, the one that I'm going to highlight today is this one by uh, Hurtum. It's a uh, West, West Germany pick, and it's, uh, I'll, I'll put a picture up in a second here. It's made of nylon, and it's very bumpy, and that's where the magic comes from. Um, I was doing a session a few years ago, and uh, I was working for a producer friend of mine who's produced a lot of major artists, and, and he, this was just a young kid doing a, a record, and he wanted me to um, play through his stuff, uh, through, through his guitar, his through his pedals and his amps. And I was fine with that, totally fine. I always like trying new things and stuff like that, although I can't get my sounds is easily. Uh, but he really wanted me to play through his stuff because he thought his stuff was amazing. Um, and he had some good stuff. Uh, and then at one point, uh, uh, he handed me his guitar and said, I want you to play my guitar too, through my effects and my amps. And the producer friend of mine was kind of like watching me and see what I was gonna do. And, and I was pretty much just fine with it because again, I'm getting to play in, guitar, hey, less wear and tear on mine, and, and not only that, it's a, it was a guitar I didn't have, and I was kind of curious, and so I could, I could uh, give it a shot without having to buy one. So, uh, and, then, and then about 15 minutes later, he handed me my, his guitar pick and said, would you play with my pick? And I was kind of like, okay. And not only that, would you mind playing with it, not the pointy side, but would you mind playing with the, the other side of it and uh, scrape the strings? And I'm like, Okay, not only is he telling me to play through his pedals, his amp, his guitar, and his pick, he's telling me how to use the pick. Um, and, you know, I've been playing probably 10 times longer than he had. But, at the same time, I did it and I realized what he was trying to, the sound he was trying to get. And it was the sound that the Edge gets with the U2. Uh, with U2. And so, this, this pick is what... I believe Edge uses, I'm, if, if I'm wrong, I'm sure I'll get some comments saying, no, that's not the exact pick, but this one I think is 1.1 millimeters. It's the blue one. I'll put a link down below so you can buy it through Amazon. You can buy them if they're available because I heard they stopped making them. We're going to talk about it a little bit. I normally use a Dunlop 1.5 pick, which is the purple picks, and these are made out of Durlin, and they're very smooth and very... <clears throat> Uh, very hard, and I, I like them because I, I feel like I don't, I don't have to wait for them to catch up if I want to play fast or something. But if, it's really interesting, and I'm trying, I'm using the microphone on the camera, so I don't know how clear this is going to be, but I really want you to hear the difference between these, and this could be a really cool tool. I find myself using the, uh, the Hurtum pick a lot now for certain, for certain situations. So here's my normal pick. Here's what it sounds like that you two uh, from uh, Where the Streets Have No Name, the Lick and D, I'm using the tip of the pick, like I would normally use. Okay, and I'm, I'm playing my Squire Strat, $99. Um, I'm playing in the second position here, the out of phase between the bridge pickup and the middle pickup. I'm going through um, a Lexicon Direct Rig uh, from the 90s, and it's, um, I've got the delay at a dotted eighth, and it's um, set to the tempo's uh, 126. So I even have a kick in Logic. So that's basically basically how we got the sound. Okay, that's the smooth pick. Here's the hurdin, and I'll do it without the uh, drums for a second. but it's much more scratchy. And when I was trying to figure out this song years ago, I was like, how is he doing that? How is he getting that distorted sound on the pick of the note? It was like there was distortion only on the attack of the note, but not after that. And the distort it's not distortion, it's just a scraping sound. And, it, and this compression, I've got a little bit of compression on here too, and Edge uses some compression, and that really brings it out even more. The two sides of the pick are slightly different, 
Um, so you can do all down strokes. Or all up strokes. To hear the difference between the two sides of the pick. A lot of guys didn't know about this, but they've been using these these Hercos, these gray Hercos nylons for years, and it's even bumpier, the bumps are bigger, and so it makes even more kind of an obnoxious sound. Hear that? Which might be too much, but these are easier to find. You can find these in a lot of music stores, whereas these, these you'll have to order, I get them at e from eBay or Amazon. Um, to is it does get that kind of flappy sound a little bit more too. Whereas this one doesn't. It's a little softer, rounder sound. And back to the out of phase pickup. Cool. So I hope that uh, that's a cool tool that you can use and it's very cheap. It's not, you're not gonna have to spend a couple thousand dollars to get this cool tool. Uh, you should be able to get a few of these, maybe, uh, I think you can get a dozen of them for like 20 bucks or less. Anyway, have fun, God bless you guys, and thanks so much for watching. Talk to you soon, bye-bye.